Hello and welcome to a GCN real-time training session. Today, we're gonna to be working on that all-important VO2 max. Basically, it's how hard and how fast you can ride for short periods of time. Incredibly important, and so this session is gonna boost yours as much as possible. And not only that, it's also gonna get your metabolism all fired up so that you'll be burning calories for the rest of the day. So if weight loss is your thing, it's also gonna tick that box. We're gonna do it to the backdrop of the quite incredible Paso Pordoi in the Italian Dolomites. We're riding up from a town called Canetzai. The climb is 13 kilometers long, an average gradient of 6%. It's gonna take us 45 minutes today. Joining me for the ride, we've got James. And we're gonna be riding on our elite turbo trainers. I'm on the Drevo 2. And I'm on the Duretto. And yeah, we're excited to get stuck into this really quite hard session. Yeah, now whilst we still have our breath, because things are gonna get pretty grippy in about four minutes time, I'm just gonna warm up very gently and talk you through what is coming up. So in total, in today's 45 minute session, we're gonna be doing 12 minutes of really hard work. That 12 minutes is gonna be split into six lots of two minutes. And within that, we're also gonna be mixing things up. This is one of James's top secret turbo sessions. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing 30 seconds hard riding in the saddle before getting out of the saddle for another 30 seconds of attack, followed by 30 seconds back in the saddle, still riding hard, and then one last 30 second lunge for the line to complete that set. Then you've got three minutes to try and get your breath back, get a little bit of composure going on before undertaking it again. So as I said, we've got six lots of that to come. James, you used to do this when you were racing? Yeah, it's a really good session actually when you haven't got a lot of time, but you want to get a really good hard session out of it. And it's something I used to do when gearing up towards the race season, just working on that top end. And yeah, it's a really good session. I quite enjoyed it, but it sounds difficult, but when it's split up into those 30 second sections, makes it a lot easier on the head. Yeah, all important for the training session. Right, now we have two and a half minutes to go until that first two minute interval. So you wanna start just building the effort up very gradually so that your heart rate's starting to rise if you're doing a heart rate monitor. And if you're not, just so that you can hear your breathing, get a little bit deeper so you can feel your body is really starting to open up. Because this first set is gonna be it's gonna be pretty intense. And so you're gonna really have to dig in, I think, for that first two minutes. Now, if you have a power meter, you're gonna be looking to work about 120% of your FTP. Whereas if you don't, the sensation will be the first 30 seconds, you'll be relatively composed. The next 30 might start to hurt a little bit. The next 30, you'll be really out of breath. And then by the time, you're completing that last 30 seconds out of the saddle, you're gonna be dying for it to stop. Let's put it that way. Right, yeah. a minute 30 to go. Make sure you have got liquids on board. When you're training on the indoor trainer, you do tend to sweat a lot, so make sure you've got bottles and adequate liquids, really. Yeah, if nothing else, as each VO2 max interval finishes, it's nice to have a quick mental break, have a drink, That's for sure. and get back on it. Right then, 6% gradient. Might kind of climb this, James. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say, it suits you this, doesn't it? Yeah, a bit of speed going up there, yeah. all being well. Nothing too steep, just a real nice gradient, real nice intensity. So a good RPM to aim for is around 100 for your warm up. This gets the leg speed going and your heart pumping, and it also helps the blood shoot around the body, get you nice warmed up and ready to go for the session. I'm getting nervous, James. Oh, mate, I'm 40 nervous. seconds to go. You've already got the half wheel on me, so. Yep. It's never a good sign. <laughs> right. Now, if you've got variable resistance on your trainers, then you can either increase the resistance so that when you start that first interval, it's really simulating the climb, or just use your gears. And so you want to start thinking about which gear you're going to need to get that right intensity. You can use this first one just to find your feet a little bit. Yeah, I think big ring, definitely. Okay, ready? We're gonna get going. This is in the saddle, remember. Five, four, three, two, one, 
and go. Okay, nice and controlled. Don't go off too hard at the start. The phrase is, don't go looking for the effort, wait for the effort to come to you. And that is very, very true. So you should feel controlled, composed. Think about your body position. Think about staying still. And think about getting the power out nice and controlled through your legs. Ready and out of the saddle, go. You may want to up a few gears to keep that low cadence while still being out of the saddle. Now this 30 seconds does go quick. So make sure you're focusing on getting the good effort out of it. Not quickly enough, James. <laughs> okay, and get ready to get back in the saddle. In five, four, three, two, one. Okay, keep the power on. Just back off ever so slightly. You should be breathing nice and hard. Maybe a little bit of tingling in the legs. But not too deep, because we've got a lot more of this to come. Okay, and wait for it. Out of the saddle again. Two, one. And out of the saddle. Here we go. <coughs> Dig in, come on. Make every one of these efforts count. Imagine you're dropping your teammates, your rivals, or your fellow presenter. Nothing, it's more inspirational than that. <laughs> okay, keep the power on. Four, three, two, one. Okay, well done, back. What, back off the intensity. A bit of recovery now for three minutes. Don't completely back off. You still wanna have a little bit of resistance going through the pedals. Keep your cadence nice and high, but just concentrate is getting as much air into those lungs as possible. You'll find that talking, probably not very good for that. <laughs> How do you feel on that one? Good. That's, that's a very quick two minutes, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Mate? Passes it just helps really so much. quickly. Just splitting it into those 30 second chunks. Trouble is, three minutes is going pretty quickly too. We're already one third of the way through. So just focus on deep breaths, fast legs. Oh, I'll tell you what, Chris has just flown past two people on that car. He was flying that day. I think he did actually drop me that day at some point as well. And for a sprinter, that's some going. Well, what does it say about Chris, James, or what does it say about you? I think that's the question we'll all be asking ourselves. I think a too big lunch for me. Right, if you haven't already, make sure you take a drink. Keep those fluids going in, as James said. Hydration is incredibly important when you're on the indoor trainer because you will be sweating buckets at the end of this. Yeah, I can start to feeling it drip down my forehead, to be honest, after the first session. Always a good sign. Okay. Right then, one minute to go of our recovery. I'm starting to feel relatively normal again now. I'm ready for another two minutes. This will be the second of six. Yeah, you always kind of feel better after that first effort where you get warmed up and you go into the recovery and you feel a bit like yourself. You let your muscles stretch out, ready for the second set. Yeah, now don't be tempted to try and pile on the power too much because this is a long and demanding session. 12 minutes might not sound like that much hard work, but believe you me, if you're at VO2 max intensity, it's gonna feel like plenty by the end. So just remember in the back of your mind, you wanna pace yourself so that you can still hit interval number six, full gas. Okay, are you ready, James? Yeah, coming up to five seconds to go. Four, three, two, 
One. And start raising the gears. That's it, stay in the saddle, remember, for this first 30 seconds. We're aiming for a cadence of about 80 RPM. And if you've got a power meter, you're looking for about 120% of FTP. If you haven't, think ride hard, but don't sprint. Okay, get ready for the out of the saddle attack. Four, three, two, one. Out of the saddle. Here we go. You can either do this in the drops or on the tops. Okay, halfway through this one. Coming up to 10 seconds. Go on, push it out now. Four, three, two, one. I'm back in the saddle. Keep on the power now. Yeah, one gear easier. Keep that cadence nice and consistent. Remember, needle training is the perfect opportunity to think about your form on the bike. Think about staying rock solid. Just drive that power out of your quads into the pedals. Three, Ready? two, one, and back out the saddle. Here we go. Should be really out of breath now. Squeeze out this last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and back in the saddle. Whoa. Okay, back it off, back it off. Three minutes to get a bit of control. Ready for interval number three. I went a bit deeper that time. You can probably hear that. I can definitely feel it. But it's a really good point, when you're doing the effort, really concentrate on engaging your core. Keep nice and stable on the bike, and you'll ultimately become a better rider for it. Okay, how are you all feeling at home? Hopefully, you're feeling good right now. Those two intervals are pretty intense, but the feeling we're going for is that we're opened up, we're working hard, but yet at the moment, we've still got control. That might go, and it might go on this next one, or it might go on the one after. And then, by the time we're on interval five and interval six, things are gonna be feeling a lot different. But let's wait for that. Let's not spoil the surprise, should we just? No, let's not. But it's worth saying that this recovery is really key. And it's three minutes long to one, get your breath back, but also to, to be able to reset for the next session because you want these two minute efforts to really be really quite maximum efforts. And you can only do that by being well rested. Yeah, now I noticed that during the last period of recovery, I felt under control with over a minute still to go. This time, I'm a little bit more out of breath because I've now got four minutes of super hard riding under my belt. It's just taking a little bit longer to recover. So you're gonna get a picture of how this session is gonna ramp up. So remember, resist the temptation to try and increase the power output. Just hold fire, and if you've got anything left, then you hit it in interval five and interval six. Hitting all the intervals the best of your ability is a really important part of a training session, isn't it James? Yeah, that's correct. The way you're going to get better is by being able to go beyond just pushing your muscles and your cardiovascular system that bit further. Okay, start to get ready now. We've got 15 seconds before we need to lean on it again. I'm feeling good actually now. Good lad. Legs are open. Really getting into the swing of things now. Four seconds to go. Three, right. two, 
One, and here we go. Raise it. Think about that cadence again, 80 RPM. It might feel quite slow to many of you, but go with what James has prescribed. Okay, knee race to go out of the saddle. Three, two, one, and push out the now. Can hear me changing gear, so I'm getting a good leverage on the pedals as I get out of the saddle. At the moment, I'm trying to drop side, but it's not really working. He's obviously feeling good today. I'm working hard today, that's for sure. Okay, ready to get back in the saddle. Here we go. Remember, keep on the gas. Keep that power in the pedals. You're nearly there. Push through now. Remember, that cadence is key. So it helps you really get all those muscles working from the glutes, the quads, and even the calves. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and back out the saddle now. Nearly there. We're nearly halfway through your interval session. Keep driving through those pedals. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And recover. Right, remember we're still climbing, so you can't stop pedaling. Otherwise you go back downhill, and no one wants that. But back the intensity right off. try and find some much needed oxygen. I tell you what, if we were out there in the Dolomites, those are pretty high, those climbs. Yeah, you definitely feel it. <laughs> in the altitude and the thinner air. So, you know, when you guys are in the Grand Tours and they are going into altitude, it really does show that it does make it a lot more difficult to breathe and put the power out. Now, fortunately, we planned ahead. We've come down to just <laughs> five meters above sea level to give James the maximum possible opportunity. I need all the oxygen I can get, Simon. I really do. <sighs> right, two minutes left of this bit of recovery. We are over halfway through our hard work now. Just three intervals and two minutes to come. It is amazing when you're focusing on those, those sets of two minutes how fast the time goes. Yeah. Because you're just thinking about the next set and about finishing the next set and get breather and next set. You're not looking at it as a 45 minute session, but more a two minute and a three minute, which is actually really helpful and good for morale, which is key when training. Now, hopefully you've all found your level of intensity that you're working at. I find at this point when the fatigue starts to kick in, it's a great idea to remember what gear choices you've been using. So if you don't have a power meter and you can't focus on your wattage, then if you know that you're holding the right cadence and you're using the same gear as last time, you will of course be sustaining the same power output. So that's a real good tip for just making sure that the last intervals in a session are done as well and as thoroughly as the first ones what you want to avoid is tailing off during a session because then you're not doing the hard work that you should be doing you are just suffering instead no bad thing but sometimes training comes before suffering <laughs> yeah right 30 seconds left to recovery now now i say that it's coming up to 20 seconds left it's really go fast so now you should be thinking about the next session your gear choice, and recruiting all those muscle groups. Ryan, with me. Five seconds to go now. Okay. Four, 
three, two, one. And start raising it now. That's right, in the saddle. You want to feel like you're glued to the seat. Really driving the power out through your glutes, through your quads, keeping that core rock solid. Maybe hands just resting lightly on the bars. Okay, get ready for your next out of the saddle attack. Three, two, one, and out of the saddle now. Push it through, down through those pedals. You're using your arms as leverage if need be. Before you know it, you're gonna be back in the saddle. And three seconds now. Two, one. Keeping that pressure on the pedals. Maybe drop down a gear or two. And start ramping it back up. Breathing super deeply now. Still in control. Only just. Are you ready to get out of the saddle? Here it goes. Hang in there everyone. 10 seconds to go. Try and keep your composure and your posture good and recover oh I definitely felt that one yeah the effort should be starting to bite now but the good news James just two more to go good work man worth noting as well like Garrett Thomas actually uses these torque efforts a lot in training. He really swears by those 60 RPM zone three, so around 80% of your FTP or a little less. And he does that for around an hour to really work on those time trials efforts and the climbing efforts. Right, remember to keep drinking. The sweat is flowing now. And just try and get your breathing back under control. Keep your cadence light. Just to try and get as much life back into those legs as possible. It's a good point actually to make, is this is a really good session to work on your pedal stroke. And to do that is you can really focus on trying to get your heel down. I mean, naturally you, you might pedal a bit toe heavy and that's okay. It's all right for anyone to, to uh, work on that, pit, that pedal rev so you can get as much power as possible out of it. I tell you what, I'm looking forward to getting out of the tree line, James. <sighs> Still in the forest, would you believe it, on the lower slopes of the Pordoi, but we're going to be emerging soon. As you can see, we've got 21 minutes left on the clock. Within that, we've got four more minutes of VO2 max. Here we have. I mean, Chris has been riding really strongly, actually, passing a lot of cyclists, but he has just been passed by someone. But it, that was on a motorbike, so I'll let this guy off. Well, I'll tell you what, James, we're about to lean on it again for our fifth VO2 max interval. I suggest we try and chase that motorbiker down. <laughs> yeah. What do you reckon, mate? Oh, yeah, I'm going for it. Okay, 30 seconds left, everyone. Keep your head in focus. It is going to be hurting now, but this is the point where your hard work will really pay dividends. It's when you just start to push your boundaries, give yourself that physiological shock that means that when you climb off the trainer later on, your body is going to work to improve. That is, after all, the 
key to any training session. Right, three seconds to go. Start choosing your gear and in the saddle now. Okay. Focus on that body position, even though you're tired, engage that core and really work on that pedal stroke. Oh, my legs are sore now, James. Yeah, I think I'm gonna join you on that one. Really feeling that lactic as it build up. Okay, Two. out of the saddle. Let's go. Change into one gear harder. That grimace is real. Huh. Come on, everyone, dig in. Get around that hairpin now. Five seconds now. Four, three, two, one. Back in the saddle now. Keep the power on. Don't let your body position go. Just change your hands if need be. You ready to get out of the saddle? You're coming up to 10 seconds now. Really focus. Got a really good effort now. Come on, everyone, we're nearly there. Three, two, one, and out of saddle. Ten seconds now. Come on, everyone, dig in. Three, yes. two, one. Ah. I'm back in the saddle. Woo. Don't stop pedaling. Keep the pedal turning. Got to be honest, I really tired on that session. Yeah. Woo. Just one more to go, remember. Remember, don't neglect the liquids. Take a swig. Focus on your breath. Deep breaths. And compose yourself for the next session now. It's always a good sign when you can hear Cy Richardson breathing deeply. Yeah, I'm going hard. <laughs> this is a really enjoyable session, I'm not going to lie. Even if it's really taking its toll. The last time I heard him breathe this deeply was racing him in a cross race. But I only heard him for about two seconds as he whizzed past me. And I was left in a ditch. <laughs> okay, keep breathing deeply. You ready for this last one, mate? And then you got a nice recovery spin. So really make this one count before you get back to work or back to whatever you've got for the rest of the day. I think I'm going to be having one of those coffees. Uh, it's about to get brewed after this session. Oh yeah. Okay, everyone, one minute to go before we're leaning on it again. Okay, 20 seconds until our next interval hits. Get ready with your gear choice. Remember to aim for the same gears that we started our session with. 
Okay, all right, three seconds now. Two, one, back on the gears. Your yeah, legs will be hurting now. Oh yeah, but that's a good thing. It means you're working hard and you'll reap the rewards. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Upper gear and out saddle. Ah, legs should be burning now, but ignore it if you can. You should have plenty more to give still. Three, two, one, head in the saddle. Don't stop pedaling now. Chris is really going fast up this car now. Okay, out of the saddle again. Here we go. Make this one count or oh. really dig in. Ten seconds now. Five, four. Three, two, one. Keep pedaling. Use this recovery now. Get your breath back. Take a swig of liquids. And get ready for the last session. This is really making me work. That's a good sign. Yeah. What a great training session. We mentioned right at the start about how this is going to be stimulating your body to improve at those VO2 max intervals. That'll have a positive effect on your riding at any intensity. But also, there's that short term gain with a high intensity interval training session like this one. And that is that because your metabolism gets rocketed into life, your metabolic rate will be higher for the next few hours as well. And so if calorie counting is your bag, then this kind of training has been shown to be really effective at helping to lose a bit of weight, or rather lose a bit of fat you may not lose weight because you'll hopefully be building muscle to help you ride faster on the bike as well. So lean tissue increases and hopefully shift a bit of fat. What should it be feeling like, James? Well, obviously it's not gonna be as hard as the efforts we've just done, but it's basically like a threat, not, not threshold, but comfortable but you're still putting some good power. And it just really ingrains the hard work you've done earlier in the session. And it's a good one if you're getting ready for a race, and you're doing that top end, and then just to cement it, you do a nice little sweet spot session to finish. It will hurt though. It it will hurt, There's no it? doubt about that, but no good training session comes without a bit of pain. Right, we've got 30 seconds, or just under. Ready before we start that five minute effort. I'm not looking forward to this, James. No, to be honest, mate, I'm not really, I don't know why I put this in session. <laughs> right, you ready guys, 10 seconds. Right, suffer with us, everyone. 
Yeah, we're with you every step of the way. Four, three, two, one. On the pedals now. Okay. So make sure that you use not using the same gears as you were for VO2 max. Yeah, you're looking at 100 RPM, which is uh, higher than your, those torque efforts. So it gets those legs spun out, but still holding some good power. You can either do this on the drops, as you can see what size doing there, or on the tops. Really, it's up to you. So if you've got a power meter, you're going to be riding at about 90% of FTP, so a little bit less than threshold. Although, perception will be a bit deceiving. It will probably feel every bit as hard as every threshold effort you've ever done. If you haven't got a power meter, then your legs will probably be hurting, but you won't be breathing quite as deeply as you were. So you should still be in control. But even though your power output is less, because of all that really demanding hard work that we've already got in our legs, you're gonna feel like this is a lot harder than yeah. it otherwise would be. Trust me, you're gonna look forward to that recovery. But don't start that recovery until you've done this last bit. Trust me, it's worth doing. Only three and a half minutes to go. Really focus. Remember, pain is only temporary. Oh man, this is a long interval. Yeah, my legs are definitely starting to suffer now. Look at the view though, James. Beautiful. That's what it's all about, isn't it? You suffer on the trainer so that when you're outside, yeah, it makes it worth it, doesn't it? You can soar up those climbs. Just try and keep your head focused. Don't let your attention waver. Just make sure you keep those pedals ticking over in a metronomic fashion. Don't let your cadence drop. Don't be tempted to change gear. All right, come on guys. Not long now, coming up to two minutes. Really, really drive it home now. This is a really devious little interval, this one, James. Yeah, no, I am sorry about this, but trust me, you'll thank me at the end. This is, I think if we can say the last six intervals were physical training. This one is mental training. This feels like torture. Yeah, no, it does. I'm with you on that one. Right, not long now, guys. Stay with us. Really dig in. Focus on that cadence. Focus on your breathing. Focus on delivering that power output smoothly, solidly. And those seconds will tick down, I promise and then we're in the home straight. A glorious warm down. Oh, I'm looking forward to that, mate. Ooh, we've earned it. Oh yeah. Just over a minute to go now. Oh, I really feel the burn. All right, under a minute now, come on. Dig in now with us, come on. 50 seconds. Really get out now. Leave it all on the trainer. Yeah. Nearly there, everyone. This is great riding. 30 seconds now. Keep it going right till the end. Keep that form, keep that cadence. Even though your legs are screaming. Nearly there. Come on. Last bit of effort. 10 seconds now. Come on, guys. Dig in. 
but really push it out now. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and there you go. Really good effort, guys. That is not easy. Oh, man. You are <laughs> what was that last oh. five minutes at tempo? My goodness me. Sorry for surprising you all, but trust if you, me. If you've been suffering like I've been suffering, <laughs> make sure you let James know in the comment section. Yeah, please do. Although, remember, don't type with sweaty fingers on your keyboard. Wait till you've done your cool down. Oh. And then you can, oh, then you can have a go at him. <laughs> yeah, I look forward to responding to those. Oh, oh my word, still, that is very cool. Six really, really great quality intervals to boost your VO2 max. And then a tortuous five minute tempo effort just snuck in there at the end to not stress you unduly physically, but to really get you working hard mentally. Almost as important sometimes, I think, James, a mental component. It is. If your head's not in gear, you're never going to get the effort out. Mentally, it's just so important to be able to really push out and it will really be helpful on the road when you've got that last little bit of a climb to do to refocus, get your mind in gear and get to the top. It's good right. for any sporty ball race. Absolutely, yeah. Good for life, James. Yeah, it I is. Think. Yeah. Right, three and a half minutes left on your cool down. Make sure you try and stick it out till the end. Obviously, you can get out of the saddle if you like now. Stretch those glutes and the hamstrings. But it's a good idea not to just completely jump off your bike, having been working super hard. If nothing else, you can enjoy this view. What an amazing vista. Yeah. That is the Dolomites at its finest, I think, there. Yeah, I think we are on a very good day there. Look at those blue skies. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah, cool downs are really important to get those muscles just cooling down. So then hopefully you won't be stiff the next day. Make sure you finish your water bottle if you haven't already. And uh, as well, when you jump off the bike, you'll be worth necking another one because you will have sweated quite a lot, I'm sure. And then don't neglect your eating as well. So even if you are using this training session to maybe help shift a bit of weight, you still need to eat afterwards to recover. So make sure you do get something down your neck before too long. I think we can see the summit on the horizon. Yeah, I was just looking at that. Okay. Oh. Look forward to seeing what's up on top there. It's a savage way to climb mountains, this, isn't it? Do your training session on the way up. <laughs> and then try and do your cool down as you crest <laughs> the summit. <laughs> yeah, it is. But what a triumphant place to finish a training session. Yeah, exactly. Fantastic. All right, under two minutes now left of your cool down. Just wind those legs down. Stretch out your back if need be. Oh, yeah. And your shoulders. Ready for the start of the day or even the end of the day, depending on when you're doing this. Oh, that's great. That's just enough hard work I'm glad to you really that, get you feeling good. <laughs> I absolutely love doing stuff like that. Just call me a masochist. But <laughs> hey, actually, right now we're probably say this as well because hopefully you have been suffering along with us. We, of course, have a whole raft of indoor training sessions here on GCN for you to, I was gonna say enjoy, but that's probably not the right word, for you to take part in. There's things to target every aspect of your physical performance. So make sure you scroll through the library so that even if you're not quite in the mood for a bit more training now, make sure you take advantage of what is on offer on the channel. Yeah, and it was worth saying if you did really enjoy this specific session, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up and we'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Go easy on James, because yeah, now, go easy on now me, the yeah. lactic acid has <laughs> subsided from my earlobes towards <laughs> my chest, I'm not feeling quite <laughs> so uh, well aggressive towards you, if I'm completely honest. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, thank you very much James, that was absolutely brilliant and I'm confident I'm going to feel the benefits out on the open road. If you want an idea of another training session to do for next time, we've got one that's just on screen now. Maybe have a look at it, just so that you can plan it in for a couple of days time. Give yourself time to recover from this one, but make sure 
you come back to us for a bit more training. Yeah, and thanks for joining us.